point quadrant analysis is a method in which we can quantify canopy density in the vineyard. It is also used practically in a vineyard management setting where we can quantify how well a canopy management method works, such as shoot positioning, pruning, leaf pulling, and hedging. Point Quadrant specifically is looking at the canopy at the cluster zone. So if you do any manipulation of the cluster zone, the management methods can be quantified using Point Quadrant, but generally if you do a cluster zone leaf removal, you won't get good good response data from that if, unless you're comparing it to a non-thin treatment. However, a point quadrant can oftentimes be used with many different training systems and different management practices to identify how dense the canopy is. What it quantifies specifically is leaf layer, the amount of exposed clusters, the amount of exposed leaves, and some other other things such as interior leaves and interior clusters that may not be the most beneficial. So this is very easy to do. You don't need a lot of a lot of people. You don't need a lot of technology. You simply require a few basic things. One, a tape measure. Two, a thin rod or dowel that is at least uh, 18 inches in length, but very small, less than a quarter inch diameter. And it helps to have either a recording device or somebody who can write down your recordings. So right here we have a vertically shoot position canopy. We're at about the time in the season where we have bunch closure. This canopy I'm using for this, uh, showing you how to do this, has only been hedged. It has not had any leaf removal in the cluster zone. So I'm going to show you how to do this, assuming that you are using vines that are close to the veraison time period or close to canopy being full and done growing. And only doing this in the cluster zone. So while it can potentially be used for other parts of the canopy, we're quantifying cluster exposure at that cluster zone. To do point quadrant, it's relatively easy, like I mentioned before. You just need a thin metal rod or a dowel. I'm using a small dowel with a very small diameter, painted orange so you can see it going into the canopy. And I'm using a tape measure that I've affixed to the lower wire so that I can keep it in place. The critical thing when doing point quadrant is doing the insertions into a canopy at certain distances. So we must use a tape measure or some sort of measuring device to make sure that we're taking random selections in the canopy. I like to use six inch increments and do at least 50 of those in a small veneered block. So we have the tape measure down here. I'm going to start doing insertions into the canopy cluster zone at certain increments using six inches. So here's the cluster zone of the canopy and I'm going to start right here at this point, right above the 39 inch mark, and I'm going to enter the canopy and I'm only going to count what this rod is hitting. So it's hitting a leaf, a leaf, a cluster, and another leaf. You only count what this tip is hitting and it just hit two leaves, a cluster, and a leaf. And you'd record that as leaf, leaf, cluster, leaf, or LLCL. And you want to do that in the order that you hit them. You don't want to randomize or put them back in the order of clusters first or leaves first. You want to do it in that exact order that you hit it. So I'm going to go over another six inches and go into that cluster zone and count what I'm hitting there. And you only count what that rod hits, not what's next to it and not what you think it's moving to, but you count what it hits. So this one really went between two leaves I hit a cluster and hit another leaf. So I'd really list it as leaf, cluster, leaf. Now if you get to a portion in your canopy where it touches nothing, but it looks like it's relatively close to some other things in the canopy, such as clusters or leaves, you record that as a gap or G. And it's critical to make sure to record those in your, in your recordings. So once again, make sure that you only count what this pointer hits and use a standardized scale to go through your canopies. If you're using a, this method for a small veneered block, you will want to do no less than 50 insertions and randomize those amongst your block. So I might do about 10 insertions here, move to another portion in the block, do another 10, and so on until you have at least 50. Of course, doing more is always better, and if you have larger vineyard blocks, I would do much more than that. To do a measurement in the point quadrant analysis, 
you make sure that you have your dowel or thin metal rod and your tape measure. Make sure that tape measure is at the cluster zone and that you use a specified increment that you choose before coming into the vineyard. I'm using six inches. So right here I'm going to go at the 24 inch marker and I'm going to enter it into the canopy at a perpendicular angle into the cluster zone. And only count what I'm hitting. So I hit a leaf, a cluster, and that's it. So I record that as leaf cluster. Sometimes you can go through leaves and that's okay. If you hit a stem, just count, just don't count that, just count leaves and fruit and record those as LC and make sure that they're in that order of what you hit. So once you have collected all the data from your point quadrant analysis in a vineyard block, you can easily look at that data and use that worksheet of recorded L's, C's, and G's to come up with your canopy density. I will provide a worksheet on how to use those numbers either online or in class and it's easy to figure out the number of leaf layers, the numbers of gaps or percentages of gaps, percentages of exposed clusters, and percentages of exposed leaves. All of these are critical in knowing whether your canopy management methods work. They can quantify how dense or low vigor or high vigor a, a site is and may help you identify what are the best canopy management methods to be used in a vineyard.